Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Trench Tech. Today I want to go ahead and unbox the Audio Technica ATR 2100 dash USB. Let me just confirm that real quick on the back here. Yes, so the ATR 2100 dash USB. Let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. So once we got the center part out, it's just an empty box now. So let's go ahead and get this top cover off. So the first thing we have here is a USB cable. It's a USB-A to USB-B. Looks to be about six feet long. The next thing we have here is a little tripod. We've got the USB, or excuse me, the mic mount. Uh, looks like it just screws on the tripod here. So yeah, it just screws on. This is an XLR cable that also plugs in to the mic here with a little bit of documentation underneath. Probably six feet on this one. It's just a standard XLR male to female and then we've got the mic here so it looks like a standard mic on off switch there just looks to be a regular mic here on the bottom you can see that we've got the USB B port the XLR port and then a headphone jack that's nice because then you can plug your headphones in and you can listen to the audio through that instead of coming through speakers and then this looks to be some volume knob of some kind. It is a little tacky, so I'm not sure what it is or what it's used for. I'll have to look at the manual for that. So it goes from less to greater, so it looks to be a volume. This is the mic. I'll be doing a review on it soon to see if I like it better than the headset that I've been using. Um, along with purchasing this mic, though, I also picked up a couple other accessories to make sure it could be the best audio that I could get for the price. Um, the review said that it came with the stand and the mount, so I went ahead and picked up a few other things. This is a foam wind screen. Um, so it just slides over the top. We'll just slide it on here. It's supposed to help with little background noises and S's, um, along with the pop filter that I bought. So, little foam microphone windscreen cost, I think, just a couple bucks. Um, this is the pop filter that I bought. Let's go ahead and open this real quick at the same time. I think I can just mount it to this tripod here to help with those S's, but let's let's open it up real quick. So let's open this up here. I think this was only two or three bucks. I'll have links in the description so you guys can pick these up or see what they cost at the time when you watch the video. Empty box other than just the pop filter here. So it looks like this just screws on to the mount here. I'm hoping, like I said, to be able to just attach it to it. It's got the little groove here so that you can attach it to circular devices. So I'm hoping that I can attach it to this mic pretty easy so that it can kind of be a little self-contained unit. So I'll probably have to play around with it. I'll post a picture on Instagram of how I end up getting it all set up. So make sure you're following me there. But this is supposed to help with the S's. It's supposed to make things sound a little more clean, um, less clipping. So overall this is what it's going to look like from kind of the side profile view. So hopefully this works out. I'm excited to try it out and see if I can get some better audio. If you have questions about it though, leave them in the comments and I'll see if I can add those to my review video. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you have additional questions, leave them down in the comments below. 
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this one. If there's something that you want us to unbox or review, again, leave that in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.